Good day, everyone. I'm Miss Christine May C. Casane, Teacher 1 in Tagaytay City's Pet Center, located at Tagaytay City Central School. And I'm also a special education teacher. My research is entitled Mastery Amplifying and Teaching Hands-on Education Mathematics Activity through Intervention Counting Using Abacus Technique. Persons with intellectual disability have problem in understanding math concepts, have attention problem, and difficulty in processing information. But there are hope, helpful strategies for the improvement of attention, memory, general civility, and problem-solving skills of people with intellectual disability. Mathematics learning and performance was optimized when the two areas of the brain were communicating. That's why I have this research called Mathematica, or the Mastery Amplifying and Teaching Hands and Educational Mathematics Activity Through Intervention, Counting Using Abacus Technique. And this intervention or program gives pupils opportunity to master counting and to improve their other math skills. Here are my research questions. Is there any significant difference between the pretest and post-test scores in mathematics of students under pre-vocational program who were subjected to Mathematica? Second, what is the achievement level of students under pre-vocational program after Mathematica was used? This research assessed the counting ability and mastery of students with special needs under pre-vocational program. Students with special needs under pre vocational program in Tagaytay City Sped Center were the only involved in the study and they was chosen using purposive sampling. It only involved doing pre-tests, post-tests, and the intervention process. The pre-experimental method of research was used in the study to assess the counting ability of the students. The primary research instrument used in the collection of data was test and students' performances record. Data were gathered through conducting pre-tests and post-tests before and after treatment. Pre-test and post-test mean score of pupils. In Figure 1, percent increase of the pre-test and post-test, and the graph reveals that there's a positive increase in the scores. It can be seen that from 5.07 mean of pre-test, there's an increase of 3.2% in the post-test. Here is the comparison of the pre-test and post-test mean score of pupils. And also the result of the t-test of difference between the mean pre-test and post-test scores in counting. There is a statistically significant mean score gain from the pre-scores to post-scores. T is equal to 6 Point fifteen P the value of T is six point fifteen, the value of P is point zero zero one zero one two, 
the result is significant at p less than 0 0.05, it can be deduced from the table that the obtained difference is 3.2 between the pretest score and the post-test scores of the pupils, and counting is significant, as indicated by t value which is 6.15 with probability less than 0 0.5 level of significance. This means that the post-test mean score is significantly higher than the pretest mean score. This implies that the pupils improved significantly in counting through MathiMathCat. On the basis of findings obtained through the analysis gathered, the following conclusions were arrived at. There was significant difference in the pre-test and post-test scores in counting of students with special needs under pre-vocational program of the Gaitai City Central School. Second, Mathematicat was effective in improving the academic performance in mathematics of students with special needs under pre-vocational program of the Gaitai City Central School. Third, continuous evaluation of pupils' performance enabled the teachers apply varied remediation techniques to help pupils improve their counting skill. Based on the findings and conclusions made, the recommendations are suggested. Number one, since Mathematicat was an effective tool in improving the counting skill of students from numbers 1 to 10, teachers are encouraged to use this project and be applied continuously to the next quarter till fourth quarter of the school year so students that can count numbers 1 to 10 can go to the next level. Second, it can also be used in teaching other math skills to the students with special needs under pre-vocational program of the Gaitai City Central School. And third, it can also be used by the students in the regular class like students under kindergarten level and those students who cannot master counting numbers. And that's all. Thank you. Always remember that Students with special needs have disability. We must see their ability, not their disability. Thank you.